Welcome back to Full Stack Automation with Ruby. In the last video, we took a look at our Xcode build script that automated the process of building a new app for iOS and moving it into a path where we could point our Appium tests at and run the run against the new changes in the app. And if you remember, we had a fill in email password and click the sign in and then we waited for the process spinner and then eventually we would should see this invalid password which is passing um, however visually it's not showing up as what we see in our test code here we don't see the rd this can be an issue for user they're not sure what the message will be so we can add some visual tests and one solution out there is a tool called apply tools and if you go into Apply Tool Eyes, powered by Visual AI, and I found this nice video here under the Visual AI section, it explains how uh, Apply Tools, the details and the algorithms, how they all work. You might want to check that out. In this demo, to get started, we just need to get our Eyes Appium Ruby Gem and add it to our repository, which I've done here. And once that's installed with bundle install, you can require it under the feature support m.rb and you should be good to go. So I'm gonna paste in this new step. So again, we're gonna make sure we see invalid password in the view and our mobile view and I verify the sign in view with Apple tools. So we're gonna make sure that everything is displayed correctly in the view with Apple tools. So if I rerun this test, we see a new message here, enable Apply Tools by adding Apply Tools equals true environment variable or A equals T to the CLI. So if we take a look at this step, we'll see I've added the environment variables here, Apply Tools or just A, but we're getting this message here because we're not passing in the CLI, which would be something like that. So if I did that, we'll take a look at the code here and I'm just going to enable this section for now as well as these steps here and what this is doing is it's creating a new eyes at eyes instance variable and it's instantiating a new eyes class under Apply Tools Appium and it's grabbing our Apply Tools key which you set up with your Apply Tools account and this is getting pulled in with our uh, .m file which there's a video prior video you can go check out how to do that with Ruby and we can secure our keys in there so then once we have the key we can use the open method here which is gonna subclass all these tests under fsr app name and then we're passing in the image here which is coming from our sign in view which this section is important and I'll show you later in the video and then it's going to just grab our app mobile driver and then down here it's to show you which match level again in that algorithm video AI visual video gets into the details of that you'll see what what level you're set at uh, when you're running this test and then it's just gonna send the check window and it's gonna do the magic up in Apple tools and diff the two different images or baseline with the new image we're sending and make sure that everything's lined up and passing and then just close out the instance. Okay, let's send our first baseline image up to Apply Tools. And to do that, we can run our cucumber test here, mobile authentication. And if we pass in again, Apply Tools equals true, we should uh, send our image up to Apply Tools. And if we look at our account, we currently have no images yet. So let's get our first one going. We open up our account and do a refresh we see our new sign-in view running excellent looks like it's working and again there's our match level which is strict so if we refresh our Apple tools account we see a past image and everything looks good there's no differentiation because it's our own first and only so let's fix our app so that we can display the full entire word password and to do that I'm going to just simply drag this over here and that should do it build the new app okay and when we click we see invalid password so 
this image won't match what we have now as our baseline and app it tools. So let's rebuild our app with our script and run it again. Great, you see the word password now. However, we didn't pass the environment variable on that last build run. So, test again, arrow up a couple times, and we're passing in the environment variable, so we should see this image set now. Second image is running. Oh, and it looks like we have a failure. So. That's what we expected. When we refresh, we can open up this unresolved image and we can see that we have the word here and it's different than our previous here. So to fix that, we just thumbs up and create our new baseline image, close this window and save. So now, whenever we rerun the test with Apple Tools equals true, we should be good with invalid password. Excellent. So we did see the element in our view, and we verify with Apple Tools that we see the correct spelling. So another refresh, we should see a third image. When we inspect that image, it looks great. So that's how we use Apple Tools mobile view comparisons. Thanks for watching.